Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope everyone's fine. I am fine personally. Thanks for asking. Uh, so today, what are we going to do today? Uh, we need, or well, I need personally to um, set up all of my UVs for what's left here. So don't mind the colors. This is just a a little thing that I do to remind uh, myself uh, of um, of where I'm I'm at actually. So everything that is kind of a uh, greenish there, it's something that I did, and uh, this uh, those parts in uh, pink are what I need to do. Uh, it's pinkish because it's uh, all of those that I prepared um, uh, in my last stream. I, I was going through the Maya ZBrush workflow, so everything that is pink was something that was set up for the Maya uh, for the ZBrush workflow. The thing is that the way I set up the UVs for those is not optimal for the way I need the UVs to be in. Um, in Substance Painter uh, when I'll go for the textures. So, Hello? Okay, audio is back. I'm sorry, I don't know why it went away. Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's just the uh, OBS didn't want to hear my voice anymore, I suppose. Uh, sorry about that. So, as I was saying, you are going to see my um, the screen with the mesh in the top uh, left uh, and the screen with the UVs right in the middle. Also, those two little things that you see here. Uh, this is a plugin. I think I talked about the the guy that does the the plugin in the in the last episode. Uh, it's Malcolm three four one. If you're using Maya, just go check out what he's doing. It's just is is awesome. Like it really is. And you are going to see why. Um, because what we are going to do now is to straighten pretty much everything. Uh, so first things first. Um, I'm going to uh, take this one and isolate it. Uh, I'm going to auto smooth. It's not what it's called here, but for the sake of things, we are going to call it that. And um, from there, I will see my hard uh, hard edges. And with this little one, uh, no, this one, sorry, I just uh, uncheck this one and go UVs by hard edges. Uh, and auto, auto cut seams, easy UV, and normally, bam, voila. I have pretty much um, everything is cut according to the to the hard edges that I decided, uh, that I auto smoothed actually, and it allows me to have um, a nice first uh, 
first unwrap uh, of uh, of everything. So from there, I'm going to put that aside because I don't really need it at all, and I might even do something more about it later. So. And on those ones, this is where the tool is also magical. I'm just going to try and strengthen everything. I don't know why it's not going completely straight. It should be. Uh, it doesn't, I don't know. That's, that's OK, actually. It's quite straight, so it will be fine. Uh, and so, and every time I have something that is straightened correctly, I will put it to the side. Uh, what, what's this one? Oh, okay, it's down there. So, also, I tend to I like to have a more contrasty thing, so you see better what, what you're doing. But it's just me. Okay, this one is uh, okay. U V and I will mm, no 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 no. It shouldn't do that. Of course, it doesn't work when I need it to work. Uh, I have no idea why it does that. So just going to go best plane so best plane here allows you to pretty much uh, if you have a flat, flat surface like this one for an example it will take the the pretty much the middle of your mesh uh, the, the the faces the face that will be pretty much in the middle of your of your mesh and try to um, uh, to project that for your UV it's, it's quite convenient too so yeah okay will be good enough like that. Um, next. Uh, so, uh, okay, we're good here. You see, on this one it was obvious the way it works. This one will be a little harder actually, but we are going to figure it out. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it like that. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep it there. This one I'll keep it up there. I'm just gonna think about it. Uh, and then we'll go do those ones. What's this one? Okay. So we'll go like that. And pretty much I'm going to straighten everything before I try and um, and do the layout. And there's also a, an automatic thing there, but you might need to um, improve that after. It's not always the, the perfect solution for everything. So this one, I need to check something. Yeah, that's what I thought. So basically, this part will not be seen at all. Uh, yeah, so I might as well um, cut it up. So I'm going to use. So I'm just gonna, going to do it now. So I'm using that thing here, which is the 3D cut uh, cut and sew tool. But you also have it. Uh, you won't see it there. Uh, let me show you. This is a tool that you have uh, here and there. Okay, so if you want to use it, you can use it directly in Maya. This is a Maya. Um, uh, this is a Maya tool, actually. It's just that it's easier for me to to have it with all of my tools there. So, 3D cut and so, and we are going to just going to show you on the other one. I should have stayed there. Uh, and I'm just clicking there and it, it cut, you see, yeah, I have two different colors. It means that I have two different UV, UVs there. So, and I can do this one too, double click. So it, di it did the all, um, the all edge here. 
and I'm going to do it on the other side there and probably uh, do I do it down there? Yeah, and I will do it down there because all of those ones. So I'm going to exit the tool, go back to the other screen, and now I have separate UV shells. So those ones are ones that we will never see. And so I'm going to treat those a bit differently because I'm, I'm, I'll probably scale those down a lot. So I don't need the, uh, uh, it's a loss of um, resolution. So let's keep on going. We are going to do all of those little pieces there. What's this one? You know what, I'm just going to, yeah. Okay, it's back there, no problem. UV do 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 it's gonna go there. I'm going to go for this one too. I'll do a few of those just because I think it's also important to show those parts and uh um yeah, I think it's important to to show the, this because it's part of the of the work. Uh, I'm sorry for the pop-ups down there. Maybe I'll switch it off. Just give me a second. Uh, just give me a second. I'm still with you, okay? It's just because there are some screens that I don't really want you to see. Uh, and maybe I'll put it there, go back here, and welcome back. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, it's important, it's part of the, of the work to do that. So everyone has to go through those moments of 3D modeling life, you know? Let's go for it. So this is going to go on the side. Those ones I did too. Uh, let's keep going like that. Those ones, oh. So maybe sometimes uh, it's messed up because, uh, see, I, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, it was uh, flipped. And no, it wasn't. It just doesn't want to work currently. I don't know why the tool doesn't work like that sometimes. Anyway, it's not that big of a deal because it's pretty straight already, so it will be fine. Does it work with this one? No, it doesn't. That's strange. So I'm just going to use the best plane tool just to make sure uh also i could actually use like i'm going to show you with this one so this one's from there uh, i could use the um, the planar map so this one would be on the y-axis and you just click this and we you have the but it's pretty much the same if, I, if i'm using best plane it works automatically i don't really have to think about what is the orientation of my of my uv so it makes it easier it's pretty much the same, so I really like this one. Why, why, why? Okay, let's go. Okay, we are going to keep on doing those. And then I will try and improve the layout of all of those UVs. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep it like that. This is something that I'm not 
really entirely sure about sometimes you know those pieces there so where is it it's this one it's kind of, you know I, I don't know if I if I should keep it like that or straighten it completely like for an example um, take all of those take it down you know and then straight straighten it like that not sure which which is the best um, the best way to deal with those so I don't know I'll, I'll try uh, I'll try both and if one doesn't work then I'll have to go back to what I did and that's it okay okay see something like that for example should I should I try and straighten it completely like so or you know I, I'm I don't know because the thing is that if you look at the yeah I don't I don't know if you see it on the on the small screen but if I keep it um, uh, biased like that uh, the, the, the textual density is a bit better and if I do that it seems all stretch and weird and I don't know so sometimes I just uh, I know that for the sake of things it's often better to have UVs that are completely straight but it's a hard choice to make for me those are okay those are okay. <clears throat> uh, just a second. Checking something. Okay. I think you had the um, uh, notification noise from my. Uh, from my program there, so I, I shut it off so you don't have to listen to that all the time. Because I don't mind listening to it, because I like to know when something's happening. But you might not. Well, I was pretty sure that this one won't work. So, what we are going to do is to. Yeah, uh, white planer. Okay, let's do it like that. Then we are going to finish with all of those. Okay, and I have to be honest with you, this is not my favorite part of the of the work, like at all. I'd rather keep modeling all day, but. This is not possible, so I flattened pretty much everything. Um, so from there, what we are going to do is that. So you have also um, inside Maya, if you hold Shift and right click, you have a layout here, and you can lay out, and you have an option box there uh, with a lot of options. It kind of work. It, it works quite fine but uh, I think it's for, for me it's easier to go there I don't have to go through all the menus and also I can select the padding and I usually go for 16, 16 pixels uh, that allows me to have uh, space a, a, a lot more space because I'm not even sure you know what let's go check because I'm not sure that you can uh, check the padding there I've never seen it now see there, there's no there's no option for that, so that's why. Okay, so so that's something that you can do. The, the thing is that if you use that tool, it will lay out pretty good uh, all your UVs. But the thing is that everything is going to be packed like that. See, like uh, even uh, sometimes it's it's almost touching each other. So you you have absolutely no space between the UVs, which in a way could be good, but you still need a little space be between everything. So. Uh, I usually use that layout and there it is so it's not optimal of course but to, to do for for all purposes there 
I'm going to take all of those. So those are the parts that I do not need. So I'm going to scale those down because I don't need to see any resolution on those. Then I have to uncheck the flip spin and scale because if I don't it will rescale everything at the same texel density which is not what I want. Oh yeah that's also something that you need to know. Like if I take this for example and I copy the texel density I think it should oh does it actually? Yeah it does. Okay so when you lay out here it will uh, normalize the texel density for every UVs there. So even if you might manipulate those a little too much or, or anything it will work perfectly. So that's one of the things to uh, I'm not sure the, the, the layout option in Maya <coughs> allows you to do that. I'm, I'm, I could be wrong on this one so okay and you see it's not the best. I think it could be better, but it's quite good. I'm just going to try to spin those two and spin those two, just just to see what it does. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to what, what it was. Yeah, it doesn't make a real difference, but <clears throat> well, those here could actually. Go up there, maybe. Let's try that. Yeah, I'm not sure it made a huge difference, but spin two. Let's go up there. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, I think we'll be good for now uh, with this. I have a bit of space here and there, but you know, it's, it's, it's quite okay. So we are going to... Uh, Hi Nance, talking in the chat. Uh, you think, uh, I think you can adjust that, adjust what exactly? The padding directly in the, in the Maya tool? Uh, so she's saying yes, but I, I didn't see it like if I'm going there and lay out layout UV. There's the packing iteration. I don't think it's that. Maybe it's that. I think it's that. Let's try it. See the time it takes to do that. Thank you, uh, GAA. So I assume it's Eddie um, that, that is saying nice pack. I just messed it up though. Y you don't see it yet, but trust me, <laughs> it's not going to go well. Um, but I will redo that in a second, so that's okay. Yeah, you see. It, it, it did you see it's exactly what I was saying before you see how much it stacks up that's just that's awful it's just awful the, the way it works so I, I don't know maybe you're right Nancy maybe there's a way to to modify the padding be between all of my UVs inside uh, Maya but honestly the those tools are like you, you, you can test it like even, even if it doesn't work completely properly sometimes it's really no, I, I, ju I just love the way it works so we did that one so we are going to change the color so we don't go back to it and we are going to do the front so this one is going to be tricky <laughs> because I have no idea how to make it efficient so I don't know if I should cut it up right in the middle there or and also I 
all of those that are not nice. So the first thing that we are going to do is to take this auto smooth and like we did before we are going to UV thanks to the hard edges it will give us some basic um, UVs so okay so this should be the front one yeah it is that's what I thought okay so this one we are going to try and straighten it and it worked like a charm or not okay i think we're good now yeah i think we're going to be good like that okay so this one is straight and we're going to keep it up there uh, okay this one is clean too and we are going to do that for all of those there's also the, the tricky part sometimes with those tools is to uh, i had an issue with the unv and uh, i was never able to remember which one is u which one is v uh, but I'm working on it. It's getting better. It's getting better. And this one's already straight, so I'm not going to uh, bother too much with those ones. Uh, let's straighten this one. Um, yeah, I thought so. What, what's this one? This is the one in there. Okay. Okay, I see. Mm. Yeah, better. Maybe I have the same thing with this one. Just need to make sure. Where is it? Uh, it's down there. No, I don't. Okay. So, from there, the, so this one I just did. It's going to go up there and this one it's just straight so this one is easy <sighs> let's go up there and this this is the side I'm just going to straighten it and straighten it I will take it up there and yeah, well, those ones can't, you can't do much about those, so it's just those parts. Uh, it's quite easy. So I'm not going to touch that. So this, this is a tricky part. So I'm going to start by taking everything there. I have the right thing there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 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 a waste of space. It is a real waste of space. But the thing is that I don't know if I can cut it up in the middle there, because it might show on my. Um, um, so Nancy is, co is coming back with the information. So hey Chris, it's uh, so it's under padding under layout options just for your info. So it's. Under padding, but I don't have padding. Oh, padding units. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm just blind. Okay, so you can actually. Okay, okay. Okay, so so then I, I don't know what mm, I don't know. I'll I'll test it later because uh well maybe I'll test it just right after. Uh, ju just first I'm going to try and decide if uh I am going to cut my UVs in the middle here or not. I think I'm gonna try it. I'm going to cut everything in half. Um, okay. X 
exit and then let's try what Nancy was talking about and the layout so in pixel shell padding I assume it's this one and yes you can rotate the shells if you want um, and also uh, stack similar I don't really care and there's ah, there was one to fill the, the spaces where is it So this doesn't work. Translate. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's try it like that. You see the the the, the uh, yeah. I, I use I use 16. P um, so Nancy is saying uh, usually 20 pixels is good, but I usually use 16 because it's I don't know. It's it works fine and uh, it's something that I'm used to. Uh, and also, uh, I'm used when I when I uh, go into substance. I'm used to um, to set it up to uh, 16 in padding two. Uh, yeah, it's a good number. Nancy's saying it's a good number. I agree. And also, yeah, as I'm using the same number in in substance, I don't know. It like it kind of makes sense. You know, it's a math thing. If you have 16 in one place, you should have 16 in the other. I'm not even sure it works like that. Uh, I don't think it does, but maybe. Uh, so I'm just use, using 16 everywhere. And so as you can see, when you use the layout, um, the automatic layout from Maya, that's what happens. So I have, I have a lot of time to talk to you if you want now, because Maya is struggling to, <laughs> to do everything. And as you saw before, when I'm using the tool here and just click on yeah, layout UVs, it's just beam, you, you snap the finger, uh, not Thanos like because I want everything to be I don't want him to destroy half of my work uh, but it works like a charm you know uh, so Nancy saying actually yeah like logic 16 is typically used in substance painted Sorry, I lost the sound for a second there. Um, yeah, that, that's that's what I was saying. It's just, it it kind of makes sense in my head to to do it like that. So, and and I I used to have so to full disclosure, I used to have a lot of issues with my bakings, like really a lot. It was like always awful. There were artifacts everywhere. Like honestly, it's 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 it was not a, a good experience. However. Um, and and so I, I I I didn't really know what to do about that because I always had issues. So sometimes it was because my uh, my main mesh was uh, too low poly. Uh, what am I making? Um, let me show you quickly. Uh, do I have my renders there? Yeah, I do. I am making. Uh, I'm going to change this in. That's what I'm making. Eva. Uh, so this is this is the the blockout for for my scene. Uh, this is a, a dystopian library. So there will be a lot of foliage everywhere, uh, props, and it's just really this is just purely the blockout for um, for the scene. And as we are, thank you very much, Eva. Uh, and as we are talking right now, I'm working on my UVs, actually. Uh, from my uh, architecture in the scene and and I was rambling about how I was bad at UVing before I have no idea why it doesn't use the space so you saw how long it took with the, the Maya tool now look at that I mean it's not great I agree but it was way faster, like way faster. So what I'm going to do right now is to leave it like that. Uh, so Eddie that says, whoa, yeah. And Nancy that says that was super fast. You see the difference? 
like I mean I, I have no idea what he did uh, that Malcolm 341 to, to make it work like that but his tools are the best like any Maya user should if you can or uh, sh should take his uh, his plugins the, the, the script that he's using are, are just crazy uh, it's not free uh, of course but I think it cost me like 20 bucks something like that and you have unlimited um, uh, updates on it and he, he, he does updates a lot and uh, and when you get the master pack you have modeling tools you have uh, UVing tools you have like everything for 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 my it's just it's awesome like it's really awesome so I'm using that all the time but as you see it's not the best packing ever uh, so I have no idea how I'm going to improve that uh, because I don't have enough geometry to improve that so uh, I need to think about the way uh, so while I think about that I, I'll, I'll try and finish what I was saying before about the, the way my, my, my baking worked before so it was not great at all and since I've learned about the the padding when you set up in, in substance and everything and I and I used uh, this kind of padding too in Maya uh, my bakes are like crazy good like I have no issues with my bake everything looks really nice as long as everything is set up correctly uh, before everything looks nice so that's why I'm using the the 16 16 theory you know so uh, I I don't think I'm gonna do anything more on this one but I'm not going to consider that asset ready because I'm losing way too much space and um, I might combine it with uh, with another asset on the texture so uh, so that I don't waste that much time uh, that much space sorry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do the the one be behind it so this one and maybe I'll combine those two together on the same uh, UV because I think it can work actually so I think I'm going to do that it will be nicer and cleaner and also that there will be no lost space in my UVs no lost resolution yeah let's go for this one so of course first thing is to auto smooth like before then we are going to try and use that and it cut everything pretty much as it should but the issue here is all of those so these little ugly things uh, can I show you what it is I'm not sure I can because I'm not sure I know where it is uh, which part is it oh it's this one so see it's just this one here on the on the side so it goes all along like that but it shows the <laughs> this is how it unpacked I mean not the nicest at all so uh, same idea as the first one we are going to straighten everything okay and then we are going to go inside here in the middle of the mesh because you might not be I'm going to show you like that uh, can I not show it or oh, maybe it's the yeah, it's because I'm in UV mode okay uh, but we are going to go inside there and um, and cut the the UVs right in the middle there because it, it won't be seen at all we won't see anything and um, what did I select and uh, it will allow me to use a lot more space on the on the UV tile so uh, all of those right here 
we are going to take up there because this is going to be the, sim the same kind of treatment for all of those and it's going to be uh, some work <laughs> let's just say it like that um, actually we are going to deselect everything that is on the other yeah spin it like that take all of those and spin it like that and everything is going to go up there and we'll go back to it a bit later okay then we have those parts this should be the middle yes it is it's straight it's perfect so we are keeping it like that then those so those are awful mess uh, and as you can see up there it's really not nice and if I try to straighten it like that this is what it's gonna do not a good idea so first we are going to try and unfold it along uh, the um, that side uh, which should be the V yep it is and then I should be able to yeah straighten it like that uh, okay that was a bad idea because I didn't yeah okay I had to use so okay I, I unfolded it along the V but you have to unfold it along U too and then yeah and then it's nice and clean see okay where did you go Why does it do that? You know what? I'm not going to do it like that. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a tool that he doesn't have. Yes, he, no, it does. He doesn't have everything you need. So I'm going to use the spherical tool. The uh, yeah. So this one, uh, as you can see, it's kind of messy now but it's because you need to take this and there it is and just a little U and then it's perfect okay and we are going to do that for all of those knowing that those one won't even show anywhere but it's always better to have something clean. Let's go. Okay. There you go. I'll pack all of those together. Let's go. Keep on going like that. How is the it's minus 90? <coughs> I'm, uh, sorry about that. I'm going to try something. I don't know if I have. Uh, do I have an option box for that one? Yes, I do. Yeah, but I can't. Uh, I can't select. Uh, okay, so we'll do it. Normally, I was wondering if I could actually um, uh, pre-enter my uh, uh, my angle, so I don't have to do it all the time. But uh, it doesn't seem to be possible. That's okay though. We're going to do it like that. We're going to do it manually, like pretty much everything you need to do. There we go. Just everything that you can do automatically, honestly, do it. It's it's a waste of time that you don't need to try and do everything manually when you have a quicker way to do it. And on those UVs, trust me, there's a lot of things that you're doing that are... Phew, it takes so much time, so much time. There's something I didn't try, but I'm afraid I'm going to mess everything up. 
because sometimes too I feel like the um, ooh, bad idea. Um, sometimes I feel like the um, the the automatic UVing from Maya does quite a good job at um, preparing uh, your UVs. It's never it's never perfect. You can't go with the automatic tool um, for everything you're gonna do at all. But uh, it's a good starting point sometimes for um, for your UVing, and you should try and take advantage of every tool that you have, which is kind of what I'm doing now. And uh, if anyone has an idea of how I could be more efficient with this, by all means. Okay. Why? Why? So no, I think I think I'm not clicking this or something like that. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. That's clean and Okay. And sometimes you you can see me go inside in the menus. It's not always useful. It's just a bad habit that I have, <laughs> and you don't need to do that all the time. But you know, there we go. Okay, so those are done. Uh, those ones are actually important. So I'm just going to leave those on the side. This one is what? Uh, this one, okay. This one is, gonna, is going to go up there. So all of those, as you know already, are uh, shares. We won't see those at all because it's going to be stuck on the wall. And um, like if, if I'm showing you the whole scene, here, you see this part is going to be copied over all of those uh, little pieces there and there too. So obviously what's up there won't be seen at all. So I don't need to have a, a shell that, that, that is that big, it's, it's not useful. Uh, and as you can see, this one is going to be a nightmare too. Um, and so, I'm just going to keep on the side there uh, all of the all of the shells that I know I won't need, and I'm going to scale those down like really, really, really down. Like uh, it would be microscopic. And I don't know if I need this one too. Actually, I don't think I do. I do not. So this one is going to go up there with those ones too. It's already small, so it's not like <laughs> like it's going to be an issue with this one. And so this uh, this one I don't need, and this one I don't need. Okay. Just this one. Okay. So those are okay. And there's also I think this one, this one. That I do not need at all, so I'm not going to bother working on those either, because it's not it's not going to make any difference uh, when I'm when I'm um, texturing. So I won't bother. Okay, so for the rest, we are going to try and work efficiently. I said try. Okay, so all of those little pieces will go together just because I don't want it to be in the way. Do I have others? I do. Okay, so all of those little pieces, I'm going to take them up there. So I know it's, all, it's not done. So uh, it might seem messy, but it's not. Like everything that is in the normal packing area uh, is something that I need to work on and everything that is outside is 
it's not much <laughs> it's not true for those ones but it's up there but basically I, I'm going everything that is already done is going to be packed on the side and everything else is supposed to uh, to have something uh, done on it so as far as I okay which one is this one okay what if I use the best plan on this one yeah perfect okay so I think I'm going to use it like that for all of those. I'm going to use the, the best play, plane and then... No, it's not possible. Do you think I should... Maybe I should uh, use the... Yeah, I might, I might have to go through that, actually. But I am not going to start with this one. I'm not sure I do, actually. I shouldn't have to... Uh, Like that, I'm not. I'm not going to bother. I mean, oh, this one is not okay. I'll. So this one is not. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do the same technique that I used for the other one and bim and it's clean now okay yeah it's clean now no it's not why do I have that oh okay to okay okay now 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 it's good and does it work if I still yeah okay well, I don't I don't know why it didn't work correctly right from the beginning but in the end we managed to make it work so that's the that's the main thing there. Okay, so we are going to keep doing this for all of the for all of the little pieces that we have down there. As you can see, I just unfold it a little, straighten it, and reuse the unfold, and it's clean. Yeah, it works. Okay, I was starting to think that nothing is going to was going to work but it does work like a charm Let's spin it because i want it to be down there v. straighten it uh, okay we're good there uh, let's go and we are going to keep doing that Okay, let's spin it like that. Okay. And we have to do this for all of those little pieces. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. Isn't that fun? That's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. I heard that. I think everyone has something that <laughs> they don't they don't 
enjoy in, in what they're doing and for me that, that would be that part if I'm being honest but I need to improve on it I really do so I am going to there you go okay let's spin it I think I'm doing a an okay job to it so you know as long as the work is done properly I'm glad okay let's do um This one now, and I'm go. Uh, I'll have to cut all of those after too, uh, as I told you before, because it won't allow me to use enough space. Oh, maybe mm, I don't know. I'll try with the with combining with the other one, and we'll see what it does. Okay. This is, yeah, it's clean too. It works pretty good, if you ask me. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Wrong button. Okay. You straighten. U V to make sure and straighten again. So I'm always doing the same thing, but it's it's efficient. And uh, you're pretty sure that the the. Uh, your shell is going is going to be nice if you do it like that. So it's always uh, good when you have a technique that works like that. Just keep it. Okay. Next. See one hand. Yeah. Is that a skill? I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. How many left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <sighs> okay. Well. I did the modeling, so I knew <laughs> there will be a lot of things to uh, to unpack. But it's always like that: you model, you model, you model, you model, and then you arrive to the to the point where you're supposed to unwrap everything, <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, there's a lot," but that's on you. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. So this this one was not the most interesting one. I would give you that. But you have to do it. So and hopefully I will be able to have a nice packing at the end of it. Which is what I'm going for. So hopefully Okay. Okay. Nah. Well, anyway. 
doesn't make a difference. Also, as you can see, I, I'm not even worrying about the texel density now because, as I told you, what I'm going to lay out with this, everything is going to go back to this to this to a uniform texel density. So it's not really what I'm worrying about right now at all. And the thing that I want is to have something clean, straight, and usable properly. There we go, almost there. Two left. And the last one, yes. Yes. We made it. Yeah. I can hear the crowd. Sorry. <laughs> Makes me go crazy. I don't know why. Let's go. So we are going to do this one now, and this one is uh, is going to be a bit annoying. So there's a <laughs> Eddie says he was cheering. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you very much. I heard you. Um, so this one is going to be a little uh, not tricky, but it takes time so this this one basically what what we need to do is to straighten to straighten all of those and to do that there's a few techniques uh, there's one that I learned um, that is quite efficient and I made a mistake actually I need to start all of those like that yeah it will help me you'll see so uh basically if you want to straighten it i do have that, um, oh maybe no that's what i thought see the the issue is that it's um uh, it's an hemisphere and uh, not not that but uh you, you get me it's a, it's part of a circle and so if you want to straighten it, it it will go all over the place like that okay it's not working at all but you can use that to your advantage uh from there you you are going to take the uv just uv okay and you go to the rotate tool uh, d to be able to change the pivot point you position it pretty much here you don't have to be perfect that's that's not an issue so d again to uh, get out of this tool and you take it up like that okay and same here And I lost the sound again, uh, but I'm back. Uh, so I was saying D again, uh, you go back up here pretty much. So pretty much you, you need to put your pivot point where you believe that it will help you get uh, something as straight as possible, uh, knowing that uh, this right here is straight enough to for the tool to work. So, you know, you don't you really don't need to be perfect on that and didn't work i don't know why sometimes the pivot tool in um, uh, in maya is a bit tricky i don't i don't know why it does that actually there might be a reason for it but i don't know what it is and so there we go uh, almost straight and also you can pretty much use um, the texels uh, behind because as you can see I'm follow I'm almost following just one line here and that, that makes it really easy and there we are going to move that here up okay and from there if you catch the UV shell and straighten it as you can see it's pretty much perfect uh, I'm just going to so I, I unfolded it along V only just to make it uh, clean all along here and then straighten it again and you have a perfect um, perfect UV here as you can see so it's this one and as you can see it's really really clean so we don't see that well but there you go. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Maybe I need to check them out to be. Yeah. See when it's smaller to check the the DC. It's it's just yeah. Perfect. Okay. So 
this one is done goes on the side um, and we are going to do it again also uh, for speed purposes for to just just to make sure that you're going faster there's something that you can do is to uh, so you're going to straighten that and then so there's there's a hotkey on Maya that's that's something that that's already there I didn't configure it uh, you just uh, press G and it will repeat the last command you, you you did and so you're going to take all of those and do the first action you need to do on all of those so everything is already prepared for the for the next part okay then from there you can uh, we are going to do this like that as I showed you then uh, no. the like that and this one too let's go like that okay and when you're done with it just don't bother put it on the side okay and you go with the next one and you'll see that I'm going to use the tools uh, to my advantage there basically what we are going to do is to set up everything like that and then when everything will be set up properly uh, we're going to use the the straighten tool um, once and then press G for every other uh, shell that we have and it will be way 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 faster and that's actually what what I should have done with the with the other ones up there but um, I don't know I was calling it there we go okay let's go let's keep on doing that and as you can see the the so at the beginning or the, the first time I was using that technique if I could say um, I was doing it wrong because I, I took the the, the, the main uh, uh, UV and I was trying to straighten it like almost point by point instead of uh, of of, uh, of using the the straighten tool once to mix those anglish thing and then and then just straighten to uh, just uh, rotate it two times it took me like uh, an hour to, to to do a little thing was not the best uh, the best use of my time but that's all the point you're learning every day by using the techniques that you see from anybody else uh, actually because everybody has techniques that you don't know and that you can use um, for your own expertise let's go oh, no. this first reposition oh, okay another tool that you know I wasn't I wasn't using it right now and that was a mistake that was my mistake is that uh, the um, oh how do you, the the wheel click the middle mouse click um, actually lo allows you to um, so uh, basically what's in yellow every tool that you're using in Maya the one the one that is currently uh, in action will be the yellow tool okay like for an example if I'm using the move tool here you see this the, the the little circle in the middle here is yellow it means that this is the one I'm using right now if I'm clicking here this one goes yellow this goes blue so this is the one that I'm using right now and same here and same here okay and when you middle mouse click you are going to be able to use the the tool that is actually selected okay 
so that means that when you're in rotating tool you see that the especially on the uv there's only one axis of rotation uh you are going uh, if if i'm way up there and i'm using the middle mouse see it's it's going to rotate uh along what i need i need it to rotate to and so if when i'm going to the to the pivot point editing mode same thing you see that it's yellow there so i just have to middle mouse click middle mouse click there you go see way faster and middle mouse click again and there and sometimes i don't use tools for a long time and then i, I forget about it <laughs> And that's too bad because you waste a lot of time by by not using those those tools actually. Okay, as you can see, pretty easy, pretty fast. I don't have to uh, bother trying to go get my uh, the tool correctly at the right space. Middle mouse click does that for me. Okay. Uh, and let's do that again. You don't even need to to zoom in actually. Just have to do it like that. And it works perfectly. There we go. So just going to take all of those, bring those a little closer. Like that. And yes, I'm packing those. It's just because it would be easier for me to grab those uh, after. It's just to, to do it faster after, but that's, you don't really need to follow that. You can do it the way you want. Okay. Okay. There we go. And at least I showed you on the first one how it works, so you know that I'm not doing it uh, without a reason, without the goal in mind. Okay. So that's what I, I was saying just before. It's way faster for me. I, I'm just going to grab the, the next one there quite easily and okay. So this one I can't do one handed. I'm sorry guys. I know you're disappointed but hey I'm not almighty, alright? I cannot do everything. <coughs> I'm trying to do. Okay. Up there. Okay. Looks nice. And this is th this is actually really important to do those things because if you want your your asset, you, you can be the best modeler in the world, but if the texturing uh, and everything is not done properly, it's not it's not going to look good. That's for sure. So I saw the other day. I, I think it was on LinkedIn. I saw that, or I don't know. Yeah, I think it was on LinkedIn. Uh, I saw um, it was a truck, some kind of a big truck uh, construction truck or I, I don't know what it was exactly but uh, and it was shown in two different ver versions one with a uh, uh, Paul uh, lightning and uh, so everything was not set up the, the, the right way basically from texturing to everything but it was the same model okay and then you had the same one but uh, everything was set up properly and the difference was huge the, f the first one you, you could 
you don't need to be an expert you saw right away that it was fake it's, it was just there it was fake that's all and uh, the second the second uh, version with everything correctly set up like you, you couldn't tell the difference honestly you, you, you can show that to someone that that even someone that knows or may, maybe not an expert but lots of people you, you're gonna show them the, the picture and they, they will say oh yeah okay that's a truck and so what 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 about it yeah but it's not a truck it's a 3d model game man so it's actually really impressive so that's why all of those little things that are may maybe a hassle or whatever for you it's still it's still you you, you need to do that properly because you you will it's not going to help your work at all if you don't do it properly so there's no shortcuts no shortcuts ah no, not this one okay almost there guys I think I will be so glad when we are going to finish this last one would that be the last one I think it is I love it when it goes that color means there's nothing left nothing left there okay okay this is nice and perfect okay so um, now I told you before that I wanted to use a sneaky technique so we are going to straighten the first one and then G G G G G G G and you just repeat that for all of those uh, sometimes it works if you select everything together but I had some some bad experiences with it where it messes everything up I don't know why I have no idea why it does that but uh, so I, I don't always use it like that let's try it and see it did it oh it worked okay well it worked for this one but um, some, sometimes it doesn't so that's why I don't do it automatically but as you can see everything is straight now so what do we have left yes we wanted to cut everything in half because it won't be seen there so it seemed better the issue being that how are we going to do that okay I know so there's there's an issue with the tool that I'm using the the cut and sew tool it's that you can't uh, go in um, x-ray mode which is annoying really really annoying so I found a workaround for it if I can set a, yeah yeah I can call it like that actually is that you you are going to select you go in face mode you select everything that you need to keep visible okay and then you are going to uh, so I, 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 I disable the isolate tool now and then you go to isolate okay and when you go to isolate the only one that you didn't select is going to go x-ray kind of the rest as you can see is not x-ray but uh, the, the the one that you didn't say goes like that and it will help you now um, you just have to go in edge mode and I'm going to cut this all around like that or maybe oh you know what I think I have a better idea I'm just going to use the edge tool I'm going to do that. Select just the middle one 
and cut. So maybe I'm going to show it to you on the other screen. <coughs> yeah, so you can see it better because the, the on the on the left side the only thing that I'm going to do is use the tool the the cut tool. So I'm just selecting all of that all of that. So I have just the the middle edge and then on the other screen because I can't use it on the first one I go hold shift right click and cut and again right shift and cut up up right shift and cut selecting the middle one right shift and cut Okay. Same technique again. And same technique again. And the nice thing with that is that um, I, I don't really need to rework on the UVs because everything is set up already correctly. So we are going to go back to the other screen like that. And from there, normally, and I'm saying normally, uh, you have there's an issue with, uh, so I will, okay, I'll, I'll reselect it later. That's not an issue. So we are going to select, uh, everything yeah everything and use this one as before layout so it takes a little time because there's a lot and beam okay so now it's packed uh, weirdly but uh, at least it's packed a little what are those What is that? Oh, this is the ones that, okay. Okay, okay, Th those are the ones that I don't, that I won't see, so. Okay, no problem. What's this one? Okay, the back side here, okay. No problem. So, uh, I'm going to reselect everything that I won't see. So this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, all of the bottom ones actually, Oof, I'm, I'm going to leave it because I'm not sure. And this one, but all of those ones, okay, we'll go to the side and let's scale it down. We are going to reselect everything, uncheck that. And see what it does. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's okay. Uh, and now, what I'd like to try is to select those two. Okay. The thing is that the tool doesn't work like that. I have to combine um, the two the two meshes so. As you know, I, I did this one before, and then this one. Okay, I hope you can see clearly on the on the little screen. Uh, and what I want is to combine the two. Um, <coughs> I want to combine the two. Um, uh, the two meshes. I'm sorry, my, my computer did something weird just right now. That's okay. Um, and if I do that, I might be able to use a lot more space in there. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to select those two. I'm going to have to redo everything. Well, not everything, but you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I combined the two, so that's not only one object. I'm going to, uh, I can do that. I need to re-click this because the texel density is really not good. It's not the same everywhere. I need it to be the same everywhere. 
so there we go it's a little better but clearly it's not great so I'm going to take everything that I don't need which is actually those ones I don't need it I don't need those so I'm going to take those ones do I see this one I'm not sure this one and this one for sure I don't see it okay uh, then it would be this, 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 and this. Okay. So this is something that I don't need. Okay. Then, on the other one, I'm going to use this. And this, this, this. and those ones i'm missing one uh, but i think i will be able to find it quite easily because um, it should be this one yeah you see this is the one we can see there okay and this goes there okay so all of those i'm going to take those and scale it down like that Okay, from there, I'm going to select everything, uncheck that box, and layout. Why? So first, let's take all of that and bring it there because make no mistakes I don't need those down there not sure it will make a difference but okay then we are going to uh, I'm gonna try yeah I'll select all of those spin those and try that <laughs> see already better not perfect but already better let's try that again and not great I think I'm going to spin those because I'm not sure. Mm. Okay. We have to keep trying. That's the thing. And see if it works. Why? I don't know why it does that sometimes. I, I'm not. I'm not sure which one I should. Um, or maybe I should take those ones, spin those ones like that, retake everything, and try and layout. No, I'm not gaining space there. Okay, you. Um, so let's try with uh, half of those, spin it, and lay out again. I had one at one point, it was quite nice, and I'm, I, I lost it. <laughs> I just lost it. one I'm going to spin those let's try it like that I think I think I'm taking way too many of those at the same time let's try little by little 
to see what it does. Nothing much. See, I don't know why I have that. Doesn't make sense to keep everything like that. So maybe so one thing that I just learned at the moment is that I don't need to select everything for it to work. Maybe I should try and uh, use the. I'm going. I'm going to try and use the the normal one to see what it does. Uh, no, ah, wrong key. So you hold right sh um, shift and right click, and so this is going to be like that. Uh, yes, self. I don't want it to keep the UV uh, ratio. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't remember if this one will uh, rescale my elements that I don't want to be rescaled. Stack similar, that's a good idea. Fix not uh, in the way. What if uh, scale? No, okay. I'll, I'll go to the unfold. Uh, also, that I'm 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 looking for uh, something that I know was there, uh, but uh, it doesn't seem to be there anymore. That's okay. So I don't I don't really mind. I'm going to try it like that. It's it will take a little time to do it, and that that was the perfect result. Exactly what I wanted to have. Great, 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 great. Okay. I think I'm not going to be able to get out of this one without a little homemade help, unfortunately. So, I'm going to take those like that. This will probably stay like this. Something like that. Um, this is going to go like that. This is going next to it. And so from there. Yeah, of course it doesn't fit. Of course. So all of this I'll check later. I'm going to take uh, this play right next to those and take everything to the side like that. Okay. Now from there I need to go up here, something like that. I don't know how. This is going to 
go like that. Okay. Where's this one? This one should be here. And those ones, we'll talk about it later. Because it should be right next to those, but... Or maybe if I just take those two. And... It's not the same size. Why? It doesn't come from the same... Oh, this one is... Okay, I think it's not the same part. That's okay. This is more than okay. I'll take it like this. And those will go here for now. We'll see later. Might be able to stack those down there actually. You know, something like that. Um, no. Okay. So, from there, I'm going to take those two to go up here. Okay. All of this is going to go up here. Like that. Let's just take this to the side a little like that because we need the space. Yeah, it would be better. We'll grab all of that, take it down a notch. Same same here. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, trick part is that this needs to fit somewhere. Um, okay. Maybe like this. Like this. I mean, why not? Okay, we are getting there slowly but surely. Okay, I can't forget about those two also. Does this fit in there? Yes, it does. It's actually not bad. Uh, actually, it is bad. But it will help me to 
fit everything else like that. This part is hard, actually. I mean, it's uh, for anyone that was really good at Tetris, uh, you're gonna love it. I wasn't the best at that game. Don't tell me it's just bricks to put together because even if it is, it's more tricky than it looks. Okay. Okay. Uh, so... Okay. I don't think I'll be able to do something really perfect. It won't work. But... I'm not far from it. I'm saying it like it, like I'm I'm almost perfect with what I'm what I'm doing, which is not the case at all. But okay, I have no idea how to. Uh... This is. Doesn't fit quite great. What if I am just doing all of those like that? It might work. I will have some last space, that's for sure. Because I don't see how... Because uh, I mean, I wasn't that great at Tetris, but I'm not bad at geometry in general. And... According to the size of all of those elements that I have left, I don't think I'll be able to pack something as perfect as what I want to have. Um, I'll have to make do with uh, almost perfect, as I was saying. Yeah, I think you know what I mean. Because those ones, they, 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 they don't. I, I would need to to scale it down a little, which is. Not great at all. Or maybe I should scale this up a little to have a no. Hi Shibi, how how are you? Um I know I know who you are, but I don't remember right now. So if you could remind me that would be really nice. Um Let's spin it like that. Take half, maybe. Yeah. Okay, well. We are going to try this and this and why we are oh okay this one and this 
so it's not entirely perfect. Does that work? Oh, nice. Like I said, I've, I just found a, a tool that I didn't know about. Uh, because when, when you're working the viewport in Maya, if you hold X uh, and you move around, it will snap to the to, to your grid. And I've never tried it before here, in there, but it seems that it works too. So if you just hold X and move around, uh, it will snap to, the, to that grid here. So that allowed me to get it right in the center. And so now if I want to scale it up, I know that if it touches somewhere, it will touch everywhere, pretty much, almost. And so here's the pack. So I have this space that is completely lost, which uh, I, I'm not a real fan of, but I mean, it's it's okay. Like, it's okay. Yeah, so let's go on to the next because honestly I can't see that anymore that's not possible okay so here so those ones are actually you've ready um, I still need to separate those forgot about that um, so I'm going to uh, separate all of that and then go back here and uh, this is going to be a combine like that and this and so if I'm taking everything yep yeah that's nice okay um, so I'll have to remember that those two are on the same texture sheet but I think I'll be okay with that. Okay, so next. Uh, let's do something simple, shall we? Hmm? Or not. Maybe this one. Yeah, this is going a night this is going to be a nightmare, I think. But uh, okay, let's try it. Let's try it. So, first things first, auto smooth. Uh, yeah, Mark, how are you? Um, I know, I, I knew, I knew you. <laughs> See, I told you. Uh, it Okay, so I just uh, auto smoothed and from there I can use the easy UV there if it works and that gives me something roughly like that. Of course, this one, the biggest one, <laughs> is not going to be displayed at all. I'm still going to straighten it, then I'm going to take this one this one is the same. We are never going to find that one, to use that one, sorry. And okay. Okay. It's going to go on the side here. Then I have the other side here as well. But I need to take I need to take that on the side here. Uh, no, it did something weird. Sorry. So this one, you remember the technique that I used? Well, it doesn't work for those kinds of shapes. Be just be just because of those little things here. I could reattach it later though, but uh, we are going to do it like that and try and get it as straight 
as possible. This one we need it to be really straight. Then we are going to take all of those here and same. I'm going to try to put those there and those in the middle. We'll try to get it as straight as possible. Okay. So from there we should be able to have a much better result. See? Okay. And now. Uh, and. Okay. Nice. Way better. Perfect. Just so we have the same size for all of those. Okay. So. Uh, oh, you uh, you streamed a little. What did you work on? Okay, this one. I think this one is actually nice like that. I'm not going to touch it too much. I'm going to put it there. Then I have this one here that is absolutely awful. So what I'm going to do is to use the best plane one. Uh, I'm going to spin it. I just want to make sure it's in the right. Yeah, I thought so. Same for this one. So there's a little thing that I, um, oh, you worked, okay, you worked on ZBrush on the P90. You need to show some, some, some screenshots of that in Slack. Uh, so yeah, I have a little technique that I use there uh, just to make sure that I'm on the right, I, I, I need to, I want the up to be up and the down to be down, kind of, that's the idea. Okay, and uh, one of the best ways I found to do that is to um, uh, put the UV shell somewhere around the numbers there and then when you look at it uh, here I think you can see it clearly here you see the number is on the right uh, is on the right side so the right um, uh, oh I'm not sure how you say that actually in English but 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 you get my point it's it's in the correct direction so the the up is up and the down is down which is what we want. Okay, for those, then I have this one. Where is this one? Seems fine too. And we are going to check with the number again. Okay, we're fine with this one too. Okay, now on to the nightmare. So, yeah, See, so those things are just, uh, I will have some small parts like that like everywhere. So that's why I'm calling it the nightmare, but um, okay. So we are going to try and uh, straighten pretty much everything we can. What's this, what's this one? Huh. doesn't look like that at all. Way better. Okay. Let's go. So as I told you before, letter G to repeat last comment. What is this one? Okay. And so all of those are done. I'm just going to, you know what, I'm going to take those ones, put it down there. And those ones are done. Okay. Let's keep going.
Okay. Seems fine like that. I will soon be meaning to do that last week, yeah. We need to see what you did with that. So also it's always good to show the results, you know, even if you're not done. Like we pretty much all do that now, I think. But uh, sometimes I realize that sometimes I'm I'm am rushing he head first uh, on something and I don't even realize that something's missing or wrong or whatever on my on my uh, on my model. And then when someone tells me, yeah, yeah, but this is not that great, you know, you could have done this or that, and I and I'm like, oh yeah, but means I need to go back to what I did and you still do it because that's the right thing to do that's why I try to show lots of things that I do when I do it because the feedback is important I believe okay all of those are done I believe this is gonna go up there. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not sure we'll finish this piece with you on the stream today because it's going to take a long, long time and it's already four. So yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I think I'll keep on doing that on my own later. Uh, but we worked quite quite a lot on the UVs. It's it's it was a good uh, a good session, I believe. I think normally next time I'll stream, I should be finished with all those, and we might be going back to the ZBrush um, to the ZBrush parts. Um, just going to go back to that scene here. Okay. Yeah, we might go back to the ZBrush part because it was a. Uh, I started it, but I did not finish. So there's so many items, but the things that I wanted to have the UVs uh, ready because when when I uh, when I'm done with uh, with one piece, I like to go in substance and try to bake once to see how it works. Uh, but if you try to bake on something that is not um, that doesn't have a proper the proper UV, it's it's just useless, you know. It's a waste of time because. Uh, the, you, you'll have to do it all over again and everything, so it's not the best idea. So, as you can see, I will still have those to do. Well, this one is al is almost completely done, but I will have to do the top thing here. This one is will be a bit difficult because of all those parts in front. Uh, and after this one, I will have this one and this one because this is not the same. There's not this not the same symbol every time. So yeah, it will take a little time. And also the middle column that I forgot to uh, to do before, I, I did it uh, off stream, and I didn't have that before. So I need to to include that in my scene too. So anyway, uh, thank you very much everyone for being with me uh, um, on this stream. I will see you later for for another for another one. I will I will keep you posted for for the next uh, for the next one. And uh, thanks for the support again. And go check GA account. Trust me, that's a good idea. Thanks a lot, and have a good day, everyone.